remember what we're having here is a classic dialogue, okay, a discussion. We are not situated in a circle by coincidence. What we want to do by sitting in a circle is have everybody look at each other, okay? This is not a discussion that runs through Miss Rahimi or me, so you need, so it's ideal to look each other in the eye as you're speaking, okay? Speak clearly and loudly so others can hear what you have to say. Um, Beauty and the Beast. Deep in the country there once lived a merchant who had fallen on hard times. He had three daughters. The older two were ill-tempered and dissatisfied with their father's bad luck, but the youngest, called Beauty for her lovely face, made the best of the situation and tried hard to keep the rest of the family happy. I would not for the world they saw him be here. I have nice clothes to hide me from your eyes. Oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love me, pronounce it faithfully. Lady, like yonder blessed moon I bow. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon that changes every month of the year. Least thy love proves likewise changeable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, and I'll believe thee. A sweet good night. Now, there is something that everyone is doing now that we would not do in a seminar, but it is appropriate for now. Max, don't raise your hand. We've heard from almost everybody. There are a few that we haven't heard from. Patty, uh, Gabrielle, uh, Thomas, Chris, uh, Alex, and I'll just ask the question again. So what does the prince mean? And the prince says, Capulet Montague, heaven finds means to kill your joys with love. The first round robin when we had a minute ago, several people said that Beauty never said she loved the beast. And in the text, she doesn't. She never says, I love it. But then we went around and said that she did have romantic love for him because they decided to get married and, and live happily ever after and whatnot. How does, does, how does Beauty come to realize that she loves him? I agree with Emma, Patrick, and Kip because the Capulets might think that Romeo tricked Juliet into changing her name, and the Montagues might think that Juliet tricked Romeo into changing his name. I agree with uh, Roxana's comment because she, um, she made a good point about that she was with her father because her father was sick, and she had a dream that the beast was um, getting sick and he was in the garden that laid down and he about to die and then she realized that she really did love the beast and she wanted to be with him and then she took off that ring and um, when she woke up she was in her old place with the beast and then she found him in the garden like her dream had been and he um, she said that she wanted to live with him and marry him and happily ever after. continue my answer because it did say that she felt lonely even though she had everything and that she couldn't wait for the moment to see him and she waited patiently at the dinner table. Can I ask a question? How um, did they start hating each other? If she do change her name, she can't make her look so different because they just change her name, but they still can remember her face. All they want to do is get married, but since their family hate each other, they can't do that. So it's better if they just excommunicated themselves from their families. We've got two things. One, did you meet your goals today? And what would you like to have as goals for yourself 
on the next seminar. I want you to write a yes or a no next to your individual goal. Did you meet your goal or did you not? Again, that is, write about how the Capulets and Montague could have solved or ended their feud in another way. As we close this up, I want you to think about in your own life, so what challenges do you face that are similar what Romeo and Juliet Like, maybe if you wanted something and your parents didn't like the thing you wanted, you wouldn't be able to get it. Like a dog, maybe.